Right now, normally we start with a game called Authors, and indeed that's what we're going to do this week. So if you'd like to all come forward uh, into the authorised position, each of the contestants has come along with the style of an author in mind, going to tell a story in that author's style. So, Ron, who have you elected to go with? Kurt Vonnegut, Jr. Kurt Vonnegut, science fiction yes. author, yes. Uh, jolly good. Uh, Sandy Tosvig? Uh, Enid Blyton, Sr. Enid Blyton, Sr. <laughs> Tony? Uh, the Marquis de Sade. <laughs> yes, and... Uh, <laughs> And why not? In the original or just... Uh, no, translated. Translated. <laughs> to Norwegian. Yes. And uh, Rory? Uh, I'd like to do Desmond Morris the third. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so now we need a suggestion, please, of a, a title for the story they're going to tell in those author styles. Anybody? Annie. Annie? Annie. <laughs> could, could we add a bit to that? Annie does something? <laughs> Annie the Orphan. Annie the Orphan. <laughs> Annie, get your, get your rifle. rifle. All right. Uh, <laughs> Annie the orphan, get your rifle. That avo avoids copyright problems oh, yeah. with any other oh, book, a bit like that. Um, so where you go, I'll move you along with a buzzer when we get to uh, the next author's style to come in. Where you go, Ron. Annie was a veteran of the Second World War and had a small house in Manchester, and so consequently was able to travel in time at will. <laughs> she found herself in the court of Louis the Sixteenth. She sat down in a chair, and it immediately broke. This put her in trouble with the palace guard. She was in quite a lot of trouble. Yes, she had travelled with Will, but Will hadn't got permission from his mother to be out. <laughs> well, this looked very bad, so she talked to her dog, Timmy. Hello, Timmy, she said, and then she was arrested for being a bit of a lunatic. <laughs> mm. Annie, your dog, Timmy, loose yourselves from the conventions of bourgeois morality. <laughs> Saw your own leg off and hit me with it. <laughs> with an expression like this, <laughs> which is very similar to the exotic vaginal display of, <laughs> of the blue-fannied baboon of Kujumbura. <laughs> which was so indicative of Annie herself. <laughs> Annie would never seen a baboon with a blue fanny before. <laughs> Blue no longer since it spiralled on my wavering sabre. <laughs> or the hairy Ava Blue Bar Gorilla, which also enjoys face-to-face -face copulation with my ex-wife Marjorie. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we'll end there. While we're way, way, way from any taste barriers, uh, <laughs> wrong side of them, of course. Uh, well, 15 points each for everybody there.